In this video, we will focus on the derivation of the uniformly accelerated motion formulas. There are four formulas for uniformly accelerated motion provided in your data booklet. Each equation contains the initial velocity of the object, represented by the variable u. Three of the four equations contain the final velocity of the object after acceleration, represented by the variable v. Three of the four equations contain the acceleration of the object, represented by the variable a. Three of the four equations contain the time of acceleration, represented by the variable t. Lastly, three of the four equations contain the displacement of the object, represented by the variable s. Notice that each equation is missing a single variable between final velocity, acceleration, time, and displacement. This will help us to correctly select a formula to use when solving problems. We'll briefly walk through the derivation of these formulas. First, we'll begin with the formula final velocity v is equal to initial velocity u plus the product of acceleration a and time t. We'll use a velocity time graph to derive this formula. On a velocity time graph, uniform acceleration is a straight line. The gradient of this line is the acceleration of the object. Gradient is calculated as rise, change in vertical axis, in this case change in velocity, overrun, change in horizontal axis, in this case change in time. We can rearrange the formula for change in velocity. From the graph, the change in velocity is equal to the final velocity v minus the initial velocity u. Substituting this into the equation and rearranging gives us our first formula, v equals u plus at. Next, we'll look at our first formula involving displacement. The object's displacement, s, is equal to the average velocity, v plus u over 2, multiplied by the time, t. We'll again focus on a velocity time graph. The displacement can be calculated by the area under the velocity time graph. For the graph shown here, the area can be divided into a rectangle and a triangle. The area of the rectangle will equal the initial velocity, u, multiplied by the time, t, the area of the triangle will equal one half the change in velocity, the final velocity minus the initial velocity, multiplied by the time. The algebraic simplification of the equation is shown here to the right and yields the formula s equals v plus u over 2 times t. Next, we'll derive the formula for a displacement when initial velocity, time, and acceleration are known. Displacement is equal to the product of initial velocity and time plus one half times the product of acceleration and time squared. We'll again focus on the area under a velocity time graph. The area is the displacement of the object and is equal to the area of the rectangle, the initial velocity multiplied by the time, plus the area of the triangle, one half the change in velocity multiplied by time. We know the change in velocity, v minus u, is equal to the product of acceleration and time. We can substitute this into our equation, and some algebraic rearrangement yields our third uniform acceleration equation, s equals ut plus one half at squared. We can use a similar approach to derive a formula that is not in our data booklet, but is useful when the final velocity rather than the initial velocity of an object is known. Here we can imagine the displacement of the object if the object's velocity was equal to its final velocity for the duration of its movement. The displacement would be equal to the rectangle bounded by the final velocity and time. In reality, the area bounded by the graph is smaller than the area bounded by the rectangle by the area of the triangle, equal to one-half the change in velocity multiplied by the time. Substitution and algebraic rearrangement yield the formula s equals vt minus one-half at squared. This formula is useful to keep in the back of your mind for objects with a known final velocity. Finally, we'll look at our formula that excludes time. The final velocity squared is equal to the initial velocity squared plus two times the product of acceleration and displacement. To derive this formula, we'll start with the formula displacement is equal to the product of the average velocity and time. We can rearrange our formula final velocity equals initial velocity plus the product of acceleration and time for time. Substitution for time in our displacement formula yields a difference of squares, which can be factored and algebraically rearranged to yield the formula v e squared equals u squared plus 2as. To summarize, there are four uniformly accelerated motion equations, each with four variables. Provided three variables are known, an equation can be chosen and a problem can be solved. These formulas can be derived using a velocity time graph for uniformly accelerated motion.